Uh... Hi, everyone. Welcome to A New View. I'm Shira, and I'm here with Kim, Lee, and Juji. We are four friends, speakers, and professionals from different cultures, backgrounds, and age groups coming together to offer healing and inspiration. You know, there's nobody on earth exactly like you. I'm an identical twin with the same genetic makeup. And for as similar as we are, we also have some pretty different personality traits. So what exactly makes us unique? Girls, what do you believe makes you unique? Um, I actually love this question, Shira, because I feel like something that I was really striving for for a really long time is to fit in, right? Like we especially in adolescence, we have a real desire um, for like social acceptance. And so like whatever was trendy and cool, I like, I needed it. I wanted it. I, I had to have it. And I always thought that those were the things that were going to help me have friendships and be close to people and uh, that being accepted by others was the thing that was going to make me uh, happy and satisfied. So to actually dig into my uniqueness uh, didn't become a priority until I felt like I was so lost in other people's expectations of who I was meant to be and this persona that I had created that um, that I ended up going on this journey and finding human design. I know, I know, <laughs> I talk about it a lot. Um, there's actually a meme about that. Uh, people who are into human design can only talk about human design, but it does actually show us our uniqueness in a way that's like quantifiable, right? It, you, it gives us a chart and a map that helps us understand all of these different moving parts. And what I actually found to be my uniqueness is my depth. And that's not something that I ever celebrated before. It was something that I tried to hide because I was in all of these circles and all of these different careers and um, friend groups that were very superficial. And I was very superficial. And once I was given this permission slip that my depth was the thing that I was here to embrace and like sink into, that was such a relief. Like, oh, I don't have to make small talk anymore about nothing. You know, I don't have to be the one that shows up wearing the like most fabulous outfit. I mean, I still do, um, <laughs> but, but that's for me. That's what I realized is like my self-expression can come through the way that I dress and my makeup and my hair and all of those things. Like we joke all the time, like I change my hair as often as I change my outfit. So. And that part of my self-expression is just for me when it comes to, you know, the way that I show up in the world and with people, it is through this depth. And I love that permission to be that way. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and we know all about your human design. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> all right. Anyway. You know, I was thinking about my own uniqueness and I I was kind of struggling with coming up with, you know, with kind of a, a response or an answer that would I I I feel that my uniqueness probably is a, really a collaboration of all of my experiences that I've gone through and where I am today. And today, touching the lives of other people in the way that I do positively, as long as I'm impacting somebody positively, putting a smile on their face, helping them find the right home or do the right thing or giving them some kind of an answer that will help them in their life, um, I, I feel like it's, it's something that I've probably practiced, I've done, 
and I'm getting better at. And I just feel like it's something that also really feels good to me. So I, I'm not here to say that this is my, you know, th this is my skill and I'm so great at it, but I feel like it's a uniqueness. It's a unique uniqueness within me that satisfies me. And I know that I've been doing it a lot more in my life because I've, I've gained the experience and, and understanding of myself better and, uh, and the confidence and, uh, and the people skills, which I love. It's one of my favorite things is just interacting and connecting with people. And when I can have a conversation or an experience or a business transaction or a socials transaction that leaves somebody with something positive or better than they started, um, I'd like to think that that's part of my uniqueness. Well, Lee, you also have like an impeccable sense of design and beauty that you really, you have like a, a great visual sense about you. I've always admired that about you. Thank you. Just throwing that out there. Um, so Thank besides you, that, which makes me very unique, by the way, the girls got me this for my birthday, this <laughs> other, other fashion things, but I love it. So I was sort of joking around, like I'm going to wear the hat, but I'm going to keep it on actually, because I'm kind of digging it. Um, so for me, you know, I too, like you, Juju was very almost to a fault when I was younger. I'm like, I have to fit in. I have to fit in. My problem was that I wasn't really, uh, I wasn't able to, because like, I just remember one of the frustrating things growing up was that like, I grew up in a pretty affluent neighborhood and all the girls had the latest and greatest and, you know, got driven to school in a Cadillac and I just could not keep up with it. But I just remember feeling less than because, you know, I wasn't taken shopping a lot. And even when I did, it's like, no, you can't get that. It, you know, it has to have cotton in it. It's too expensive. It's this, whatever. It was just frustrating for me, but it also helped me be more resilient in my life. And as I've grown up, I really, I, I'm owning the fact that music is my, my special thing. I love making people feel through words and harmonies and melodies and song. And like my name, Shira, actually means song in Hebrew, which thanks, mom. Um, <laughs> I just find that kind of interesting. But for me, music is like so part of my soul. And I feel like I've evolved musically throughout my lifetime because like I used to write all kinds of, you know, fake pop crap. And then I got into like children's music and now I'm evolving into sort of the spiritual inspirational realm of my songwriting. And it feels good to like, I finally feel like I'm in this. Yes, this is a space that's fine. I still love the children's stuff. Like I definitely want to keep doing that. But this new avenue of writing more spiritual and inspirational songs just feels so good. And in the past, I would be like, yeah, it's okay, whatever. And now I'm like, all right, well, I'm just going to keep writing. I'm just going to keep writing and keep getting better and keep collaborating with people. Like that's just my journey. And I feel like, I feel like I'm on a path with that, which feels really good. And might I add, you you have a very unique voice. It fits very well with that genre, you know, and I know you did a song recently and you sent it to us and it, I was like, I was very impressed. Oh, sunny. It's, it's amazing that, you know, that kind of a voice when you sing comes out because I'm not, you know, when we speak, it's very different. I'm yeah. not saying you have a bad voice when you speak, but you know what I mean. No, it's no, like, and it's oh, interesting because wow. I don't even want to be an artist. I actually want to um, license and have other people record my songs. That's kind of my goal. Right. Yeah. But you never yeah. know. You never know no, these days. You just go to put it out there and who the hell knows what could happen, right? Yeah. I love that we're doing this topic, by the way, because how often do we or people in general, like take a moment to take stock of like, their unique gifts, like what they have to offer the world or themselves. That's, I think it's rare probably. And so it's, it's nice to have kind of this, like doing this episode, it really forced me to think about it. And you know, I was thinking, oh, I'm good at so many things. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love gifts. Oh yeah, I do this and I'm you know, good at this, whatever. <laughs> um, but at the end of the day, it all came down to one thing. All of that bleeds into, which is, um, loving like my unique gift is love it's loving myself it's loving others 
And I'm getting better at all of that day by day because it's a journey. But it's definitely my unique gift. Um, I find that it comes out in words that I speak. It comes out in words that I write. It comes out in gestures that I, am, you know, I give to people. It comes out in all sorts of ways. And um, it really just feels so good. It's like this innate knowing, like, this is why I was put on this earth. This is my purpose. And I, you know, there's the, that quote that's on my computer, actually, that I read to you guys the other day, the meaning of life is to find your gift. The purpose of life is to give it away. And when I thought about that, I was like, love, like love just pours out of me so naturally. And I see the way it affects others. And I'm working, always working on the way it affects others is how I want it to affect me. Like I want to give myself all the love that I give others. Mm. So I find that the just love is my gift. And Juji, I love what you said earlier. You said the, the word permission, mm. because I feel like in the past, I would never have given myself permission to like even admit this to myself. Oh, I'm good at loving. <laughs> I'm good at loving others. I'm good at, I don't know. I just, it's something that I really feel like in the last five to so years have really embraced. Um, and I look at it like my superpower now, where in the past, I would have just thought I was like bragging in some way, you know, and I would never have said those words ever, where now I'm like, no, this is my superpower. And I meant to spread my superpower all over the planet. <laughs> you own it, girl. <laughs> oh, we feel it. You're, it is just, your love just oozes, oozes, girl. <laughs> That's your middle name. I feel like remember when we did the episode about not dimming your shine. Yes. I feel like this kind of goes hand in hand with that because that permission given is not just to yourself to admit the fact that you know there's things about yourself that you haven't really been paying attention to or cultivating or being, you know, confident or braggy about like, even just like, I don't want to make this like a gendered thing, but like, when do men ever feel bad about bragging? You know, like they don't even call it that they just call it being confident, you know? So it's like, can we just be confident? All right. Like be confident, stupid. <laughs> like whatever your unique gift is, like let the world see it and let it shine confidently. Like I know that there was a time in my life where I would have been like, who do you think you are saying that you have depth? And it's like, uh, I've collected a lot of it over the last almost 39 years. So I feel like I have I've earned it. You know what I mean? Like there it's, it's part of my like badge of honor or something that I get to say that about myself. But when I wasn't aware that that was what was like lackluster in the way that I was communicating, you know, part of the evolution is seeing how other people see you and what they would say about you, you mm -hmm. know? And I think back to like how people would describe me in my teens and twenties, like they would probably say that I was fun and that I was a good time. And I remember like people signing my yearbook and being like, that party was great, you know, like, cause I was, I was the life of the party cause I wanted to be well-liked. And Shira, I grew up in a very similar circumstance. You know, there was a lot more affluence around me than there was in my household. So I wanted to be the fun one. And that translated to just having as many friends as possible. It's not, it wasn't about the quality of friendships. It was about the quantity mm -hmm. to prove to myself that I was likable. But when I started liking myself, and embracing the gifts, I feel like some people fell away. That's true. Some people came back. Some people came back and they were like, this is what I've been waiting for from mm -hmm. you. And then 
new people showed up like you guys. And I feel like just the level of intimacy between us is so much more authentic that, you know, I never want to hide that again. I never want to, you know, go back. Like you can't, you can't stuff that back in the closet anymore. It's just about, you know, like how, how much more can I lean into this, you know? <laughs> and and Susie, just want to point out that because you have connected with being deeper and digging deeper within yourself, I've noticed just from knowing you the past, what, four or five years that your relationships are now filled with depth more than ever, right? Mm. Yeah, it's so interesting. Like when we really are true with ourselves, like when we own that uniqueness, like it just starts blossoming in very interesting ways. But um, you know, you guys know. So I do this motivate program, and it literally is the word motivate with eight, um, you know, tenets or skills. And E, the last one, is expression. And I I remember so many incidences over the programs that I've done where because it's it's typically mothers and daughters that I talk to where I say, you know, what's your form of expression? And just such hesitation, like raising hands, like sometimes like someone will raise their hand like, well, you know, I wanted to, I really love designing jewelry, but, and then that just all the excuses came out like, well, I can't because this and that. And, and, and I'm like, just go back to it. Just, just, just decide. You just have to make a decision, right? Like once you own your uniqueness, you're like, I, you're, you're doing the world a disservice by not sharing it with the world. And, um, and the only other sidebar thing that I wanted to say is that I, I have always known that like sense of humor is really important to me. But one of the things that I feel makes me unique is the, the ability for me to be both um, really raunchy and, you know, like make faces, you know, like that kind of stuff, but also to try and show some sophistication. <laughs> I think I'm, I think I'm sort of embracing that duality that I have where I can be like, I can be like put together and then I can just like say shit that's off the wall and make like the most disgusting, ridiculous faces. That's why children love me so much. I really do believe that because <laughs> I have that, that combination of, uh, of qualities. So yeah, I think all you need now is some tickets to the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> <laughs> You'll fit right in. <laughs> and a uh, hundred dollars on give me a good name of a horse i can't think of a good name sit of with the day. shit that's the name of the horse <laughs> <laughs> sit, no sit with your shit, sit with your shit. <laughs> and it's sit with your shit on the outside <laughs> <laughs> um you know juju you mentioned something about like you know you wanted so many friends and whatever and i think like we've all been on our own journeys of like the types of friends we used to have or or specifically for me, like choosing people that were of such great quality for me that I so resonated with and uh, am aligned with in, in, in my adult life. So I just want to point out that our group here and what we have is so, so unique. It is so unique. We are so blessed. Um, you know, we all have other friends outside of this, of course. I have some, uh, I have some, well, I mean, I, I have some amazing friends also outside of this. I do, I do. And I have, you know, another little group and then a, a few individuals. How dare you, Lee? How dare you have friends outside of I'm us? I'm not cheating on you guys. I'm, I'm in love with you guys. <laughs> but I just wanted to point out that these types of friendships and these, th that is unique in and of itself in life. And it's, oh my God, it's, it's such a gift, such a gift to have because without our people, without our support, without people that think alike and want to grow in similar ways and are open and, and they're, you know, they hold a space for you. Um, that is more unique to me that I have than anything that I can offer anyone on my own. It's, it's, it's what I have in my life. That's, that's enriching my life. So I could be a better person. Mm. And Lee, your, your unique gifts that you give to us or anyone else in your life, 
that's why you're attracting people like us into your, like, it, it's all you're doing. It's all you, girl. We, we couldn't, you, girl. we couldn't have this unique gift without you offering your unique gift. It's so I want to, I want to yeah. actually touch on something that Shira said, which is that, you know, she has, you know, this elegant outfit on right now. And then there's the goofy side and the raunchy side and the, all of this stuff. I think that's actually a really good point because I felt like being multifaceted was just going to be like confusing for people. So I chose a lane and I stuck to it. And that's what I've really started to understand is like, we can be so many different things in one human being. Mm. Like, you know, I love to get dressed up, but do I love to also build things and use power tools and like cook and clean? Hey, you didn't tell us about the power ahead. tools. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I this is the funniest thing when my husband and I were like getting this place ready for me to move into, he would like brought all of his power tools over and I, we would make the plan for what we were going to do, but then I was the one executing it. And he was just like looking at me, like laughing. Like I was just like having a field day with this chainsaw and <laughs> Like, yes. like the drills and all of this stuff, because when I was working in uh, fashion, I actually built sets for um, for window displays and stuff like that. So I like I rolled up my sleeves. I've painted walls. I've built stuff. I've, you know, created things out of foam like it, it got messy and it got dirty and it got like really, you know, like hands-on in those situations and I loved it you know but then like on the flip side of that is like getting my nails done and like always yeah. having a cat eye and you know like all of that stuff and then on the flip side of that is also I love spending time in nature and I I always want to be outside and on the flip side of that is I love to be indoors cooking and making sure that my home is nice like there's just so many things about me that I don't have to like choose the one thing that I show the world. Yeah. Because I can trust now. I trust that it can all be received and that it can all be appreciated instead of just, I'm this one thing, put me in this category because it makes you comfortable and it makes it easy for people to understand and that's it so interesting it's so interesting what you're saying because you really can't judge a book by its cover like I love uncovering and discovering things about people it's like wow I would have never thought that you are that or could do that or have that as a career it's just so interesting people are are multifaceted mm -hmm. well my sweet unique girls this is a fantastic place to wrap if you've enjoyed our conversation, please subscribe to our channel and be sure to let us know if you have any topic requests or questions by commenting below. We will see you soon. Thank you for watching. We love you. Bye.